Hi everybody, Timmy MX here and today I want to show you an alternate way for a bleach bypass look. You can create a bleach bypass look or to be more correct a silver retention look by using different tools and techniques but mostly you are dealing with contrast and mixing color and a black and white image together. Mostly using layer nodes and the blend mode. I mostly use soft light for that because I like the look you can get with it. But today I want to show you a different approach which can give you a different result and a bit more flexibility. I start with a simple image in lock. All I did here is a balance in and a simple look. Then I convert the image to Rec 709. You can apply this bleach bypass step before or after the Rec 709 conversion. Feel free to experiment, you will get different results. Ok, I will do it before the Rec 709 conversion. To show you what I mean, here are my project settings. On the timeline color space I work in Arilog C and my input color space is Arilog C2. Be sure you are working in color managed workflow here on the color signs. My output color space is Rec709 as you can see here. This means here in my nodes I have Arilog C color space but my display shows me Rec709. And if I deliver Rec709 is used too. That's it. Let's close that for now and let's create the bleach bypass look. First I create two serial nodes here and on the first node I decrease the contrast. In this case I use a contrast and decrease it until the image looks much more flat. The trick is to remember the values of your blacks and whites or better the levels of your highlights and shadows. I will remember this both levels here and why? You will see it in some seconds. Furthermore I balance out the pivot a bit more to my needs. This looks fine. If you will create the effect after the Rec 709 conversion you should use the color wheels instead of the contrast because these tools work more correct in display referred gamuts and a gamma of 2.4. So be sure to use lift and gain in this case instead of the contrast. Just a hint. Now on the second node I will reintroduce the contrast. Instead of just applying a serial monochrome node for that I will use the curves because I'm working in log and here the contrast curve is has to be an S shape. But if I would use a curve as it is luminance and colors linked together, I would increase the saturation too. That's not what we want. We want to only adjust the contrast and therefore make sure your curves are unlinked. We only want to affect the luminance. Then make sure editable splines are activated and then I bring back the contrast. With a very smooth S-curve here it's a hint. If you want to get a very very smooth highlight roll off you should make the handle here on the highlights longer and the handle on the shadows much shorter. This gives you a much better result. Ok and you still remember the highest and lowest values in my parade? Now I try to reintroduce these values again so that I get roughly the same contrast back again. Now you know why to remember these values. Ok, this looks good to me. You can do it more to your taste, that's not right or wrong here. You don't destroy the gamma here if you are doing it before your X709 conversion. Not bad. Not bad. Looks good to me. And now it's up to you. Try it out and maybe compare it to other methods, maybe the most used layer method. I use this technique very often and sometimes after the Rec 709 conversion but that will give you a bit more harsh results. If you want to use this technique in ACES you can do that. It works well in ACES too. And if you are interested in a more advanced and layer based bleach bypass look I put a link in the upper right corner. Ok, we are done. I hope I could help you a bit in your color grading and please don't forget to subscribe. You all a great time. Bye.